Hello everybody, here we have a Philips X40 Radionic Radio and Electronic Kit. It makes radios, logic gates, all kinds of things. 40 experiments that you can do with this setup. You get a circuit board, components and this manual. That's the cover there. And I thought we would have a go at doing experiment 30, which is to make a radio. And we'll just make this, make this lovely radio. And um, hopefully we might even hear some music for it. We'll have to wait and see. And here we have a large selection of components from four kits. Two uh, the Radio X40 and two from the uh, 40A, the amplifier kit. Uh, all the bits are all together. Uh, I put them all together so I wouldn't lose any. So we're going to sort through this and select all the parts. Okay, so we've installed the components and this is what it looks like. As you can see, the parts are all bolted onto a board. I'll show you the other side. See, there's all these bolts on the other side uh, and the nuts on to hold it in place. So these have all got threaded bar on the other side. Yeah, there's a tuner. There we go. Now, the only thing is... I don't remember where I put the ferrite rods. Um, I've got a problem in the bedroom where I keep all this sort of stuff. And um, the water tank was leaking and the ceiling came down so the room had to be emptied. So all the bits and pieces that um, I had, um, like ferrite rod and whatever and electronics, all had to be packed away and it hasn't really been put back together again yet, my bench and all my various bits and pieces. So, I need to go and find the ferrite rod, and uh, best of luck <laughs> trying to find that. Anyway, that's, that's, that's what it looks like there. I think you can recognise some of that. And that's what the board looks like. One thing you'll notice with this is there is no diode for a detector. Uh, I'd assume it probably uses one of the transistors, I don't know. But there you go. So as soon as I find the ferret rod and a power supply, we'll link this up and see what happens. That's a few odds and bits and pieces that I, I pulled out. Just in case the tuner wasn't working very well, I've got two, two tuners here. There's a trimmer tab. I don't know what value that is. And there's the two coils. Coil there, there's the reaction coil, and that's the other coil. That's the uh, um, the part that bolts onto the board and holds the fat rod, and there's the uh, the rubber thingy. But no good without a fat rod, so let's go and find it, shall we? See what happens. Uh, wish me luck. Right, um, we have been hunting all over the place for a ferrite rod and I was able to find a ferrite rod but unfortunately it is not the right one. I don't know if the other one is a bit longer or not. So there's no harm in trying it. It will work or it won't work. So I thought we'd just wire it all up and see what happens. All I've got to do now is link up a battery pardon me, uh, link up a battery and then um, find uh, an amplifier to amplify the signal so you can hear it. Um, this is not going to be the um, X40A part, it's going to be an ordinary book standard PC amplifier, but it will do the job. It's a couple of crocodile clips and we'll be able to see what happens. Okay, so let's give it a go, let's go and find the battery. Well, I am amazed. This is working. Just, it is working. I have no idea. I've had to botch some wires because I can't find my set of crocodile leads. I've only got two and that I can find. Uh, I've got a whole box full of them, but I can't find them. Anyway, um, here's my power supply. 
Um, it's supposed to be set to 9 volts, but <clears throat> for some reason it seems to be getting um, buzzing and vibrating when I go too high on some of these stations. I've got the um, earpiece that I'm using uh, right into the uh, or right up against the uh, microphone of the camera, and I don't know what if you can hear it. So I'm going to be quiet for a couple of minutes or a minute or two. So hopefully you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, that is coming from this. Very few components. No amplifier, of course. It's just amazing, you know, that it still works after all this time. Anyway, that's that's definitely something worth doing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm quite impressed. You can just about see my hand now. I'm sorry about that. It's just because I'm trying to hold a microphone. Um, headphone, sorry, headphone um, speaker thing up against the microphone of the camera. I'm going to play this back now and see if I can hear it. I found a station that's a little bit louder, so let's see what this is like. Remember, I can't hear a thing. Well, there you go. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Wow. That's just amazing. I am impressed. I've given it a little bit of an area with some solar. Um, but um, there you go. Well, I've set up the uh, speaker and it is now quite a lot louder, obviously, because it's got an amplifier on it. But um, I've had to uh, try and see if I can find a, a station that's only got speech on. I don't want to be done for copyright and playing music. But just in case you guys haven't noticed, there actually was two mistakes that I made. Oh yes, two mistakes. First mistake was I left this resistor out by mistake. And these two components here, a resistor and electrolytic, was in the wrong place. So if you haven't uh, already spotted those, so you... whoops, <laughs> um, I've put them right obviously because it's working now. But we'll have a little bit of a, a tune. Just adjusting the voltage there a little bit, make it a bit more stable. He's very temperamental. Turn the voltage up a little bit. That hum that you can hear, I wouldn't be at all surprised if that's coming from my power supply. Um, supposed to be using a, a battery with this. 
uh, not really meant to be using a power supply, but we've got modulation, so something's working right, isn't it? Ways, as I said, so a million and a half Brits live in other EU countries and work in other EU countries. In the reality, if people come here, they're mostly younger, they're mostly working, they're paying taxes and contributing to the economy. And in fact, George Osborne's own deficit reduction plans could not be met. Um, EU workers paying into the trend uh, and having to grow our economy. You can't really here. Most of the Leave campaigns want to sustain the single market. You can't really have a single market of goods and services and uh, a digital single market without uh, without free movement of people. Uh, just... oh, that's just... Go, go on, Tom. Yeah. Hit the fear with the, um, with the uh, aerial. That's the uh, diagram for it, anyway. ...jobs they do and whether those jobs and skills are needed is, again, complete nonsense. I mean, the North American trade agreement... Uh, you can see the 1K uh, resistor that I left out. And the four hundred and seventy ohm resistor and hundred UF terrific capacitor that was in the wrong place. There you go. I'm going to do some more of the experiments out of this book. If you have any views on it, please give us uh, some feedback uh, what you think of it. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. More to come later. Bye.